Congratulations on another spin around the sun, Earth. You go, Earth. You be you. But as we all know, with another rotation around a giant circular pattern comes the inevitable top listing of things in numerical order to make sense of it all. So that's why I brought you my personal top 2014 tracks of 2014. Just kidding. I'm only going to do top 14 because realistically speaking, if I were to say each song title and it took me three seconds to say each title, it would take me approximately 1.67 hours to do so because of math. Number 2014. It's Megan Trainer with that infectious forced radio meme all about that bass. The song was pretty avant-garde for its time by removing all frequencies above 300 hertz. In the song, Megan sings about real hard-hitting feminist issues such as how all women think they're fat. But in reality, the industry creates a fantasy to sell the products for insecurity. As a female gamer, I really late to the song because I too like holding booty at night. Number 2013, Take Me to Church by Hosier. The music video starts off with Hosier and his brother Hoser meeting up and smoking what appears to be marijuana. As we all know through science, marijuana makes you want to make out with your bro. It was even tested in an MTV commercial. So anyways, this white guy sees them and is so confused by his own inner homosexual longings decides to turn it into violence and rage. The white guy goes, darn you Hosier and Hoser for being so happy and murders his whole family. It's really sad. Then young Lean shows up and throws a box in a fire or something? So anyways, moral of the story, don't fucking giggle at funerals cause a group of white guys will fucking murder you. Number 2012. Taylor Swift, the song. Taylor Swift had a wonderful year in 2014. She was in the film The Giver, and she released her album 1989 with the magical hits Blank Space and Shake It Off. Taylor Swift had controversy this year by pulling all of her music off of Spot Iffy because she thought she wasn't going to make any money off of Spot Iffy. It's good to see Taylor really does care about her fans by removing her music from Spot Iffy and forcing them to pay 13 bucks for a copy. Her album was also the only record to sell more than a million copies this year. Did you know Taylor Swift can buy 30 million tacos from Jack in the Box with that? money? Number 2011. The guy from the band Disclosure who wrote a song called Stay With Me. Sam Smith sold over 3 million copies of his Unrequited Love Ballad this year. I like the track a lot because I can relate to the lyrics because I still need love even though I am actually a man. When I first heard Sam Smith, I thought he was a black woman, but he isn't. I like Sam Smith when he hits those high notes because he reminds me of a crying baby or a young black blues musician wailing in lament as his culture is being taken away from him and being marketed as blue-eyed soul. Speaking of souls, number 2010 goes to ginger singer Ed Sheeran for the track Don't off his album X, in which he sings about an ex who names rhymes with Smelly Goldeen who cheated on him with a dude named One Direction. It's really sad because he thought they was different. Number 2009 is Ariana Grande featuring that guy with cool hair. Nothing says breaking the Nickelodeon image by telling your fans to love you even harder. Or Ariana Grande featuring Zed with 2D because why the hell not? The radio forced everyone to listen to that track anyways. Number 2008. Have you noticed this weird societal trend where lack of emotion and brainless copying what everyone else is doing is cool? It's almost as if life itself has become one giant blur of the same thing over and over and over again. Has your world gotten cold and you can't seem to let it go? Number 2007 goes to Nicki Minaj's snake. Did you know Nicki Minaj has a snake? Wait, no? Really? Well, well, she does. So anyways, her snake was everywhere, and everyone was singing it because she has, like, a power to get in people's heads. And anyways, her snake was like... Number 2006 goes to Clean Bandit with Rather Be. Clean Bandit is actually a pretty clean band with this beat, and the synths and the string arrangement has something refreshing and exciting to hear when it first came on the radio. The music video features a Japanese girl being kawaii singing the song. She's not the actual real singer of the song, because you swear the radio would actually pick an Asian girl singer to be on the radio. <laughs> Number 2005. Remember Lady Gaga? Remember when her music used to make you want to get on the floor and dry hump an inflatable dolphin? Yeah, that was a really, really long time ago. Thank base god that Key just showed up and fucking rocked everyone's socks off. The flame-haired Canadian songstress showed everyone she could dance, sing, and play instruments this year with her 1990s club kid-inspired dance track, Hideaway. The music video is also pretty cool, I guess. Number 2004, some mediocre problematic rapper. Number 2003 goes to Sia by Chandelier. After hearing this song, I couldn't stop swinging from chandeliers. It's good when a singer-songwriter who writes for singers who can't do anything else but hit notes and look pretty become famous themselves for writing good songs. The music video kind of creeped me out because, you know, there's a little naked girl contorting her body alone in a desolate, rundown apartment. The juxtaposition of those things is just uncanny to say the least. 
Number 2002 goes to Aloe Black with Aloe Black, I'm the man, cause Aloe Black is the man. And finally, our top track of 2001 goes to Turning Down Why? Boop, 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 boop. You couldn't go anywhere without hearing this fucking song. The music video is genius. It's probably gonna win like 420 Grammys. The remixes are fire. The first lady was singing it. Everyone is saying turn up now or turned like f And the number one track of all time goes to Y'all Cowards Don't Smoke Crack by Viper because Thank you so much for watching my video all the way through. This list is in no way associated with the views or opinions of this channel. Check out my SoundCloud, bruh or girl or my mixtape. You should listen to my mixtape. I also want to say I love you. I love you a lot, so let's continue making cool beats in the future for 2015, um, Space Dinosaurs.